got the okay there you go oh hi everyone and welcome aboard i'll be your captain Julian today along with the dreadful first mate drakir <laughs> and Should welcome back to... yeah. sorry <laughs> and welcome back to the operative no one lives forever where uh, last time the <laughs> kate went to space oh dear <laughs> Uh, sadly, we didn't run across uh, Jim Cummings up there, but uh, we we did come back down to find someone else instead, because we're going to be tailing the Baroness. And uh, yeah, tail the Baroness to locate the private gondola. Avoid uh, avoid this uh, detection. What kind of inflection was I putting on there? Yeah. Uh, what the heck? Okay, I don't remember too much of this area because it is pretty late in the game. And I will say this: we are, we are in the end game, so things will be tricky. Yeah. So if I was in giving information correctly, this might. All right. I was about to say this might. Possibly be the final stream of this game? Yeah. Uh, Who would see, be might? To... We don't need to look. We. Okay, yeah, we. I think. <laughs> I thought the other one had walked away further. Oh dear. What can you tell and here I stand with proof what I told you before stream. <laughs> Yeah, that whenever there's a, a stealth game, I seem to suck at it more than usual. Yeah, it, it, again, it, 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 here's the thing. I give him a theme song, and I almost made a pun thanks to it being actually the name of the theme song. I expect you to die. Yeah. <laughs> Is it also the intro of the game with the same name? And it, it, yeah, it's, it's a really fitting song considering, yeah, other games, Helion is just fine on usually, rarely dies. But these games, yeah, I, ex I expect Helion to die is a really fitting song. Oh, wait. I mean, I expect you to die. The, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I. It might just be me, but it still seems like Cage runs uh, goes faster whilst crouched, which is causing a lot more audio-based issues with detection. Yeah, and the texture as well. Hmm. The texture had a little bit of that. Yeah, the... I never seen that happen. That's... How do we? We need to take them out before the other one can take a shot. Uh, let's do a quick save. Because the bear... I, I don't know if the Baroness will just keep going or not. I presume she is technically waiting for us. There we go. Oktoberfest is here. Some Saturday from 3 p.m. to 1 a.m. Join in the fun and games at the Sierra Room. Free punch. Okay, and wait, when is Oktoberfest again? Uh, I presume October. Yeah, but wait, wait ended today basically or something? I don't know. And hmm, actually, I remember. Yeah, we got the coins again. Okay, I, okay, I guess the Baroness is far enough away to not have heard that. So did we get the coin? Doesn't matter, we have spares. 
Oh, she's come quite a distance. She is not waiting in the slightest, it seems. But Won't we're not supposed to keep close to her. We just need to follow her. Certainly not at this time of year. Well, good day. Good day to you too. Well, let's hope they don't panic too much when they run across a corpse. <laughs> yeah, Philip, you, you keep forgetting to bring that uh, corpse dissolvent or was called body remover. Yeah, body remover. Did I just... What's the poser over there? There, there? No, we've seen that one before. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm glad as a sub I thought it was a nude poster there first. <laughs> uh, the Germans might be a bit loose with some things compared to others, but not to that degree. Exactly, that's why I Are you going almost re reacted with her. Of course I am, you simpering oaf. Did you think I was planning to sit around and play pinochle with you idiots? Let's see, override security lockdown. Okay. Don't set off any alarms. Okay, that is a bit different than detection. But it was only the Baroness who we weren't supposed to alert. And, okay, that was a bit of a smarter move that this guy did. Sidestepping instead of <laughs> wasting all of that time rolling. Okay, maybe I should... Try to use these special ammos more since they well they clearly do more damage. What could you silencer for the Hampton Mill Okay? We got a silencer for this thing now. Uh oh. I think yeah, someone heard the shots but hasn't gone to actually alert yeah, push the alarm it sounds. And ew. Yeah. Seriously, if that mattress, I'd, ju I'd just burn for fire. Even then, I'd probably not want to stick around to, <laughs> to inhale the smoke. Ugh. Two guys there. Uh, wait, that box looks different. There's an orange box near you. Around, uh, behind, there. Yeah. That's another a wooden box, oh. just a different texture. Okay. Usually, I feel like that's usually a sign of it's something special. Again, the camera's having an oddly wide view of the view. Also, something I, I realized after the stream uh, yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> the reason that the... Okay, they were running where they were running for the tree. Anyways, the reason that the the reason that the uh, boxes were stacked with green up top and orange under was because of that dumbass that color you know, coordinated the crates, the one that we got one bit of intelligence from. Uh oh, so be you, because he decided to be fancy, he risked the entire organization's security. Thank you. Let's see. 
I can hear more cameras. There's one over there. There is one outside here. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> what is that? Uh, yeah, this is... Okay, I was wrong, apparently. This is the... basically this game's rocket launcher. You remember that uh, prototype that they... <laughs> that the uh, scientist that we knocked out multiple times uh or at least twice <laughs> uh, was working on uh, yeah that's this which begs the question how the hell did they get their hands on it oh dear so can i knock you out or do i just have to kill you okay i'm <laughs> surprised and I wasn't surprised, and at the other time I should not be surprised that they had special animations for knocking someone out in a chair. Let's see. Photographs of Baron Dumas on Winter Safari hunting caribou. Okay. Him try to... I have a hard time seeing him being successful with caribou. I think... Sometimes he will be running away from them. Yeah. Or rather, more likely, he'd be driving away. Because I don't think... I don't think he'd be the type to be walking. Decoder? <laughs> or code breaker? Hmm. Like you do. Bless my homeland forever. Will you please shut up? Why don't you like singing? Oh, come on. I was specifically trying to be sneaky so they wouldn't stop. Uh, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Typically, games give you. Uh, more of a this this game gives you a bit of a narrative not really narrative but a, this game give, have, give the, one of the reasons to be stealthy in this game is to get the dialogue like that which i don't think many games actually well have as an offering so to say uh, no, not early games at least as well, uh, here you get at least some useful information or your some ice comedy. Okay, either he saw me right before his he would he would stop being vulnerable, or I should not try to headshot people with an SMG. Probably the latter. And I think I have I have seen. Uh, Guns hidden in bags and such before, like a suitcase. But they also usually machine guns and not rocket launchers. And that was just an advertisement for snowmobiles from Crazy Sid. Wasn't that? Didn't we get some intel from that guy you know, from that sh guy's uh, shop before? Is there anything down there? Crazy Sid, maybe. Okay. Just... Oop, come the f really. Really? <laughs> that we always we all saw we only saw the underside of the bloody thing. Uh... Oh dear. Maybe we get to hear the yeah. Now we may get the, able to hear the other two to sing again. Yeah. That so... is one positive at least. Yeah. Now, okay. remember to be sneaky. Just gotta get that code breaker again. <laughs> the serial knocking continues. I, I 
I'm starting to imagine that someone always wants you to look, and it's always the same guy. <laughs> and at this point, you're driving him insane. Shut up. Why, don't you like singing? Oh, that's why. Sure, just not yours. Hugo never complains. Hugo is an idiot. Whose singing do you like? Oh, I prefer women singers. Edith Piaf, Shirley Bassey, Ella Fitzgerald, Nancy Sinatra. I like to pretend they're singing to me. Maybe you need a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. That's not the point. Anyway, I don't need to hear your yodeling. Fine. Okay, so that's how we were seen. He act he actively turns towards the guy. Uh, that gonna make sense. And actually, a good element. How did he not hear that? Since yes, you have a silence, but those buildings are very good at amplifying sound. True, but it would have to bounce around back out at first. Okay, body should be out of range. It's getting almost instinctual that I just duck away when that, those things look even in the general direction. This is this probably good to do? A bit late to develop, though. <laughs> okay, leave that to do its work. And we still haven't figured out what the bloody hell the intelligence key is, so we still don't... Or do... Do we have to look it up in the main menu or something? Yeah, too late to do it now. Yeah, and don't forget the letter. There we go. Quick save. There we go. Okay. And there we go. Now we just gotta dodge this thing and that one over there. Bit odd that the, the sound is gone. Could be that they want uh, you to keep focusing on the stealth. Uh, let's see, that's the starting point and that goes around to the front, where we need to go. Okay. Hmm. Quick save. Yeah, really wide field of view on those things at times, huh? Yeah. I could see my, myself not be able to play this at all. Let's get out of its sight. That one shouldn't be able to spot us. And there we go. What did you find out? The main gondola dock is heavily guarded. It would be suicide to go that way. I'll have to risk it. There's no other choice. Ah, but there is. A few miles from here, there's an old service gondola. They use it for supplies, mostly. Brilliant. I guess I'm in for a bit of a hike. Well, I noticed there's a guard post out past the frozen lake. There's a snowmobile sitting outside. You've done well. What's your name? Tom. What's wrong? Nothing. Just reminds me of an old friend. Thank you, Tom. Good luck. <laughs> He's probably Survived. been the most... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's probably been the most useful companion we ha we've had so far. Yeah. It... Well, it was professional, just cooperative, not without a single fuss. And do we have other good companions as well? But is this one. Uh... Wait, the others have survived. Or is the only one? Uh, he's the only one. Well, there's we have other we've had other contacts, but we don't know if they're alive or not. And well, Bruno and Goodman. Well, 
We both know how that ended. Yeah. Well, now you're not thinking at all. Okay. We can go hog wild here. So... You, wait, yeah. you put with your hog? You... Go. Yeah, I, I got a. Uh, the pistol is good for being stealthy, but not for facing multiple targets, or at least more than two, since we can get off snapshots on heads. Yeah. And, I think it, and for a spy game, you really need to be tactical with how you sneak in, how you fight. Just annoying Wagner again. Who? Nope. Hey, Phil. Nope. Yes. You bought that Bentley yet? I'm not sure if I want it. But you were really excited about it last time I talked to you. Well, now I'm thinking about a Jaguar. I thought you hated Jaguars. I never said that. Yes, you did. You said you'd rather stick a knife in your eye than buy a Jag. You're confused. I think you're just a fickle bastard. Sod off, I'm not fickle. Sure you are. Remember how smitten you were with that bird, Tracy? Tracy? She's disgusting. You see? You thought she was some kind of a fairy princess. Liar! And remember when you said you wouldn't use an automatic pistol because you said they were unreliable? I've always used automatics. Revolvers are for half-wits and old ladies. You know what makes it even worse? Not only are you a whimsical bloody bastard, you're also a belligerent ass. Shut up if you don't want me to clobber you. Wait a second, tough guy. We both know I could reach down your throat and rip out that flimsy spine of yours. So don't go shooting off your mouth at me. I'm not fickle. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Uh, someone sounds fickle. And about to be in a pickle. Well, I guess that was him, since he <laughs> he got pickled between deciding to charge and take cover. And now he doesn't have to choose. Unless he ends up in limbo, in which case he'll probably spend eternity in there trying to think if he should go into, well, <laughs> whatever circle of hell he's going to. Uh, ooh, hello. There's just something so satisfying about just putting a few rounds in a target and then it turning away and hearing them thunk down. Knowing that for once you didn't screw up the amount of bullets you need to put into someone. That True. would so be would be so incriminating if I were ever to end up in court. Yeah. So keep the other video games. Uh. <laughs> Okay, just looking around for hidden goodies. Okay. Shh, I thought I heard something. Okay, I think I saw either a searchlight or a flashlight. Searchlight. Well, they didn't need the searchlights. Good eye on that guy. Then again, we've seen what Kate is dressed in. She would, st <laughs> she would stand out like a flare anywhere. I actually thought that the spotlight was there, but no. Instead, I accidentally killed the other sniper. Oh, <laughs> that that sound was the glass bouncing. Ooh, ooh, fine. Uh oh. Uh, okay. 
find a place to warm yourself before you freeze to death. Uh, yeah. Get that off. Come on, come on, come on. There's a hole. I hope, I really hope it has a special suit for this. There we go. Okay, we need fire. Uh, now the thing, the thing that, that well, the thing is at the moment is that Kate's uh, outfit has been completely soaked with freezing water. So even if we were to change clothes, it would still be freezing. We need to dry them up, everything out. Yeah, because why well, I hope she has a you know special clothes for that can handle. The hell was this guy doing? Out? What the, the hell was this guy doing with the grenade launcher? It, really, you expect to make the jump? Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah sometimes I can understand what weaponry a, a enemy force have as us, but sometimes I get confused what weapons they use. So it seems to be a bit un unnecessary or counterproductive. Yeah, a grenade launcher in the mountains with snow. <laughs> Uh, how to cause an avalanche 1.1 one, uh, or 101. Don't use uh, high explosives. Um, Killian? About that. That includes pistols. Oh, yes. Avalanches can be that sensitive. Yeah. Hmm. But, yeah. I expect grenade launchers would be even louder that people would notice you shooting it. And you would, well, probably have way more effect on the area you shot at. Fire. That is good. Okay, let's see. Is anyone in here? Okay, there we go. Yeah, bright orange against the snow. She might as well be wearing a, a an active Fox road flare. Foxhound, over. Go ahead, Foxhound. Approaching target. Outlook good. Over. Excellent news. Proceed as planned. Support standing by. I will await your signal. Over. Understood. Over and out. Okay, Gee. that was a pelt. I was wondering what the heck was that on the. <laughs> but it was just a pelt. It is hung a bit oddly. Typically, aren't it, aren't pelts typically hung either pointing sideways or with the head down? Yeah, or on the floor. The, the, it, they also texture it a bit weirdly. So it looks like he had a demonic face or something. Yeah. Might as well leave the power off for the next one to find this place. Okay. And now we deal with this. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Also, we haven't mentioned it a, a bit before. No, we haven't mentioned it. We mentioned it a bit, but uh, this uh, chapter or level is uh, showing again that they, they have quite sizable levels. Yeah. Okay, that, that was the sound of us landing. I thought I just landed on someone. <laughs> Okay. To be fair, I would not be surprised if you did. Hello, and goodbye. Uh, it, it wouldn't be a spy thing with the uh, snow wheel if there wasn't someone getting shot at whilst on it. Also, hello. Yo, oh, you're... Those two were fleeing. Okay. <laughs> I was I was planning to run the first one over. So you will have to do instead. Was it realistic or not for... I used to when you drive at someone with a vehicle, you just... In game, suddenly just run flat over them. But yeah. here you're more of a... Uh, 
Yeah, we, we've um, had that with the motorcycle as well. That she just bounces off. Though that last one or last two, we hit with the side and we didn't bounce. Okay. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we were definitely going to run you over if you had a freaking grenade launcher. Uh, oh. Maybe that's why they have grenade launchers. Uh. No Alien. need for stealth. Oh, that's a tough motherfucker. Oh dear. Uh, that, 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 that was such a Hillian move. It tries to be stealthy, fail and fail and fail and... High explosives. Yeah, and that was... I know you did it accidentally, but still. Nope, I actually... I saw the barrels, I shot the barrels. Oh, okay. oh dear gods. Okay, just I, normal I'm ammo. I'm surprised that the house is still standing. It is burning, I hope. Oh, hope? <laughs> It, it's not much of a house. It's a shed. It, 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 that's all it did? Well, that, whatever that machine is, it's probably not working ever again. Yeah. Like, maybe... It, but I doubt that it would leave a crater or anything, but... I expected more of that damn thing would be over on fire. <laughs> okay. Let's get back on this thing. Like, if, that, that looks like the sort of a one barrel. But it was more, more than one barrel you blew up. Quick save. But yeah, as I was saying, I, I guess the grenade launchers are against the uh, people on a snowmobiles. Says it could be harder to shoot the driver, so you just shoot the vehicle with a grenade? Yeah, which, well, would also likely cause an avalanche. Yeah. Boing. And boing. And boing. So far, this doesn't seem to be the avalanche risk area. No, we're pretty high up. Also, what the hell are these guys doing all the way out here? Also, there's a lot of damage we're catching. Yeah, I, I'm glad you have body armor. Ooh, mines. Uh, let's see. There we go. Mine detector. Okay, yeah. Are we going to have to? Are we going to have to? Guy goes through this width. Let's do another quick save. And let's see. We should be safe going from this tree to that tree and then to that one. Unless this thing has a bigger hitbox. Yeah, that's what I thought. We we can't keep the glasses on. Yep. Yep. Uh, you just broke it! That or I rammed it so deeply in that it wrapped itself around the tree. Okay, let's try that again. With a bit less tree hogging. Careful now. Also, a detail is that she's actually well, pressing the. Uh... Well, how, how would you call those actually? Breakers? Hmm. It is a. Maybe that's not a great term since. Oh, wait, the other one must be the break. Yeah, no! She... Oh, it's not a she... breaker. <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking bicycle standards for that would be usually the breaker. <laughs> oh, that is a bunch of them. I, I guess this is the. Um, accelerator? Yeah. Now, I, I was thinking more of specifically on the term for the uh, the parts, not the the hand, not the handlebars, or, the things you squeeze in. I yeah, 
whatever. We're just going to move on and we're going to take a shot at those guys before we can uh, before we move on. Because we do not have enough health and armor to get past by just rushing. Do we have a sniper? No. But we might still have the briefcase. It's you yeah we do. Uh-oh. Okay. New quick save. And boom. It, that didn't really seem to do much. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's a bit light on splash damage, I guess. Okay, yeah, this is... Let's quick load that so we don't end up wasting all of that ammo. Yeah, okay. Now take careful aim. Wait, they didn't notice that? Okay. I guess you're so far away that the silencer is working. I think they started to notice the bodies. Yeah, oop. And that was one of them falling down. And that's two in the same spot. There we go, three, three in a <laughs> row. Not bad with the gun there, my good sir. Uh, you you could see f you could see that it's a lot less accurate. Thank you. Oh, we we got ourselves a sniper now. You could see that it, it wasn't as accurate as the pistol because it was the pistol so far mostly shot at the actual middle of the crosshair, but the first shots with the SMG were going wider than that. Yeah, though I doubt the pistol were able to reach that far. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure I heard plenty about how this... How about how this part of the level is disliked. Ooh, uh. Damn it. Uh... They must have been talking about another evil orc there. Nice. Wait. Wait. Oh. That's... That was the fence. I thought the fuck did... It... Okay, that was... The fuck? We were not close to the fence there. Okay, but I guess... Really? That fence has quite a bit of range. Yeah. Uh, okay, break the circuit. I've expected a door to heal really? you. Really? Never mind, the door frame will try to heal you. What uh, the heck? Okay, now we're here. Hopefully that health loss won't cost us. And let's see. Okay. For a moment I wondered what if the wooden boxes can be broken. So quick save. We are comp well, we have only a shred of armor left. month I'll be in charge of planning all mechanical sabotage operations for Northern Europe. Wow, that's a lot of responsibility. Tell me about it. It's gonna be a lot of work. I hope I get a promotion so I can feel special too. Uh, yeah. I, uh, listen, I gotta go, uh, over here. All right. See you later. Awkward. Ah! 
And uh, wait, 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 wait. I want I want you to look at one of them. Yeah. Good sir. Uh, yeah, good sir. You've been denied passage to Sweden. <laughs> uh, Evidently. This thing doesn't sound too reliable. Uh, I heard worse. That's it. I guess we missed a bit. Yeah, I think that was just the start of it. It, it was the start and end. No, sir. Yes, yes sir. I suppose I've got to stop drinking myself to sleep. <laughs> uh, dialogue got a bit messed up. Let's grab that. Oh. They threw grenades down. Okay. Rising up a bit. It, now we can't get up there. Okay. Hmm. What? Okay, that's the ladder. From what I, I was thinking, maybe there's something, yeah, <laughs> something nice hidden up there. But no, they're just hiding up there. Oh, hello. How did, how did you miss all of the gunfire? Good question. And also, don't drink yourself to sleep, people. Since apparently, when you drink so much, you pass uh, before you go to sleep or that you pass out for it, you. Don't get REM sleep, which means you're basically knocked out and don't get proper sleep. Hence why you, after heavy drinking, mm -hmm. you still feel tired. And it's very unhealthy for you. Here we go. Give him a 40 caliber... Uh, a 50... Uh, yeah, 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 fuck, screw it. I'm, <laughs> I was going to say give him a... 50 caliber uh, gut punch in the gut, but uh, I messed that up. Okay. Now then, here we go. We go. Hmm. I remember something about this. Question is, is it now or later? <laughs> Trainee rank. <laughs> Once you reach the chateau, you will have to act quickly. The first challenge is to locate the list. The greater challenge will be to deliver it to command. Needless to say, subtlety is advisable. The odds against you are already overwhelming enough without you drawing undue attention to yourself. Gee, that sounds like another no alarms. See infiltrate, locate secret entrance, locate secret lair, <laughs> recover a list of names. And they are giving us okay, the shepherd, the Gordon, Acid Gas, Coin, Cigarette, Bray, and Body Remover, and the zip cords. Nice. Wait, wait what? The the game just crashed. Okay. Seriously? Yeah. Well, you get to see the launcher now. Let's keep all of that and hope that it put down an auto save. At the very least, like we have that, uh, <clears throat> we have that quick save. Okay, there we go. No intro bits because well. We were, we're trying to be sneaky on anyway, so hello. Marm Hemo to Bryn Aken from Human Resources. Effective next Friday, you are officially transferred to the Mechanical Sabotage, Div uh, Div yeah, Mechanical Sabotage Division in Northern Europe. Please turn in your weapon before departure. Uh, 
Well, we made, we made him turn in a bunch more than that. Yeah. And the reason I told him he did not access to Sweden since, well, Sweden, as far as I know, is part of Northern Europe. Yeah. Oh, we lost a bunch of our weapons from that. That that can be really annoying when you go from one you know, one level to another, and you end up with less weapons. Yeah, like sometimes it can make sense if they you give an explanation, like you drop some cargo or something, but. Yeah. <clears throat> Bronze, Mother can't believe you ran away and joined this harm company. What does harm stand for anyway? But you should have joined the circus. You know how Mother loves monkeys. Right soon. Love your sister, Becky. <laughs> okay, is oh. that her implying she's a, that he's a monkey? Unsure. Give me that. Okay, at least we can be as stealthy again for a bit and catch on some dialogue. Let's see here. I cannot, kind of wonder, does Netherlands count as a Northern Europe? Uh, hmm. Depends on that? why. Depends on where you would draw the line, I guess. It'd be more middle, uh, and the. Uh, yeah, Western Europe. Hmm. Everything must go. The moon calf going out of business sale start next starts next Tuesday in Paris. Explosives, office equipment, used armor, and much, much more. Really? Uh, this sounds like another evil organization. Oh dear. I should. I should. I should take a look at the wiki uh, to see just if they have a list of just how many there bloody are. Uh, you mean just for the fun of it? Yeah. Well, we finish this game with time to spare, we can do that. Also, uh, yeah. I, I didn't I didn't bring it up, but I did well, show it a bit. The footprints, always nice in the snow. Yeah, they look a bit odd. Uh, Your slim. Actually, yeah, look also tiny. Right there. Okay, they are appearing if you walk backwards. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I think they accidentally gave her the wrong foot size. Like, I know she may not have big feet, but still, the boots should be big for the win winter. Contains a slightly worn kilt. Oh. Well, we know who's around then. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> okay, that's locked. <laughs> oh, dear. But, yeah, do you like the idea of us looking up the wiki if we have this time to spare? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't spear. mind. Uh, There's a spear. Maybe. I meant spear. Hmm. Okay, this place definitely needs repairs. Let's see. Oh, dear. Oh, here we go. Thank you, magical floating. The armor. Hmm. And we're back here. Maybe the okay. armor was made of magic ah. carpet. <laughs> Maybe. And this is a dead end as well. Or is it? And yes, people, that was a Shanti reference. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Let's see. We have to. Okay, that looked. It that looked like it would hide a key or or a button or something without so slanted. Yeah, no? and we did. 
And th that painting used to look out of place down here, doesn't it? Yeah. Do we have to use the belt buckle somewhere to get up? We've had it pretty much in every level since we got it. Though not yeah, everyone has been using it. Yeah, and as you realize, there was also an odd carpet on the floor. Hmm. Did someone see. try to decorate it, the hall or something? Maybe. Hmm. Might... There's nothing wrong to decorate your hallways. No. In this case, it might be unnecessary. <laughs> okay, it actually gives a sound when it doesn't have a target. Hmm. Is there a reason why we have sight over here? Or was that just to take him out? Hmm. Maybe? Okay, I, I'm not seeing at all where we have to go. Hmm. We are missing something. I get the feeling there's a zip cord uh, marker somewhere. I think I saw one. Uh, that, it's just orange and white, not the actual grip. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to have to look up how to proceed here. Yeah, we haven't right. needed to do that many times with this game, luckily enough. Yeah, only once before. And that was, well, because I was just being dumb. Actually... Can we screw with this? Yeah, that's part of the gondola, not the electronics. Okay, this might be progress. Yes, it is. Hooray! Quick save before we fall back down. There we go. Does that work on these as well? No, actually. It, technically, they would still work. It's been a bit since we've used this thing. Also, we've never used it for combat. So, yeah. if, we, if we run across someone unlucky, we're going to test it. it another. Don't. Uh oh. If I moved, I thought you were to stab it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. There was something by the bookshelf on the floor. Oh, hello. Employment opportunity. Travel the world. Top-notch security organization seeks motivated individuals for managerial positions, stock options, and uh, 401k available. Call today. Doesn't actually say with who. Also, what is 401k? Is it some? Is it a pension thing or something? Sure. Just in case, but I presume, there we go. <laughs> Don't play with it, Kate. <laughs> you know it's poisoned. Wait, they Oh... It's poinsettia. Okay, I forgot in that part. Yeah. <laughs> Should've expected that. Let's see. No hidden intelligence. It's oddly quiet in here. And again, the Baroness probably wouldn't want her goons all around.
Well, here we go again. Maybe we should throw her off a cliff. Did I ask for your opinion? No, but I was just thinking. Oh, you were, were you? Yes, I think keeping her alive is a bad idea. Is that so? You know how in spy shows the hero always gets away? Well, that just sets a considerable precedent, don't you think? Sure, it's just television shows, but it still makes me nervous. Take a look at that. Excuse me. I said look at her. You want to murder her? I don't want to. It just seems prudent. Prudent, eh? If you don't mind my saying so, you seem rather moralistic for a man who earns his living as a criminal. We've already killed thousands of people. What's one more? It wasn't me that killed them. You work for the organizations that did. Doesn't that implicate you as well? They didn't ask me what I thought about it. Perhaps not, but you knew there was a possibility that such things could happen. Okay, maybe you're right. But that doesn't mean I want this girl's blood on my hands. Truth be told, I'd sooner kill you than her. Then I'll stop trying to convince you to throw her off the cliff. That's prudent of you. I must confess, I haven't been able to sleep since that explosion in England. Me neither, lad. Can I ask you a question? What would you do if I began walking towards a gondola dock with the intention of leaving this organization? I might give you a piece of advice. What would that be? Don't get yourself killed. The thought had occurred to me. Okay. And Magnus just sneaking up on Kate yet again. That's like the yep. third time. Yeah, and I just realized... She's went without pants in a frozen lake. Any interruptions. Yes, ma'am. Wake up, princess. So, this is the indomitable Kate Archer. Super spy. I hope Armstrong wasn't too rough with you, dear. I'm not sure whether it's his Scottish blood or his peasant heritage, but he's rather lacking in social polish. Oh, but you're Scottish too, aren't you? Ah, how insensitive of it. Baroness Dumont, you're not what I expected. Is that so? Sorry if I'm a disappointment. Not at all. Quite the opposite, in fact. Meeting your husband didn't lead me to expect much of the woman who'd choose to marry him. Oh, yes, my husband. He's a child in the body of a man. A rather large man. All I have to do is play mommy every once in a while and I get to spend his money any way I please. And he has plenty of money to spend. <laughs> but enough about my vocation. Let's talk about yours. Your vocation? But I thought you were working for harm. Harm works for me, darling. I'm impressed. Not bad for a little orphan girl who went from princess to pauper. It takes a great deal of conviction to overcome adversity the way you have, or a great deal of hatred. A little of both, actually. I wouldn't have expected such insight from someone like you. Well, perhaps you don't know as much about me as you think. I know enough. A girl spy in a man's world? That takes gall, surely. That you've been such a damnable nuisance speaks highly of your talents. But the fact that you're my prisoner suggests that you overestimate yourself. Just a bit. Little girl who thinks she can take on the world. Is that so different from a little girl that thinks she can take over the world? Well, we're both ambitious. Too bad your ambition is so petty. Is that what you think? You might have done great things. Instead, look what you've settled for. Exacting revenge on people who remind you of those snobs that ostracized you and your mom after that nasty business with your father. You call it revenge? I call it house cleaning. House cleaning? That's right. Every one of these smug blue bloods I scrub out makes the world a little cleaner. As far as I'm concerned, they're lint. Uh, excuse me, Baroness. 
I said no interruptions. Somebody shoot this man. Where were we? Ah, yes. You were moralizing. Next, I suppose you'll tell me that I can't possibly succeed. Not if I have anything to do with it. Well, you certainly have spirit. Unfortunately, you won't have anything to do with it. Not unless you can rise from the grave, that is. Are you afraid to die? I haven't given it much thought. Thanks to the incompetence of the insufferable Inga Wagner, you still have some time for reflection. My instructions were to give you a 10-hour fuse. But that bloated moron gave you 10 days, which leaves you roughly 45 minutes to live. I've been infected. At the club, that dart that hit my neck. Yes, and if it weren't for Fräulein Wagner's mind-numbing ineptitude, you'd already be dead. You get what you pay for. Isn't that the truth? You have no idea how hard it is to find qualified criminals these days. Nothing but misfits and mutants. I hope you don't expect sympathy. Not from a judgmental goody two-shoes like you. To you, I'm just a villain. Those pretty eyes of yours see only black and white. Well, sister, the world is a crueler mistress than I. Believe me, I would have gladly kept my dollhouses and fairy tales rather than suffering through what I did. But I didn't have a choice in the matter. You had a choice. You were just too weak to make the right one. You don't know anything about me, girl. You don't know what I went through. Those genteel bastards disowned my mother and me before the headlines even hit the papers. Now I'm going to show my gratitude by raining fire and destruction down upon their pedigree heads. Poor Felicity. The world spat upon her, so now she's going to show them all. Is that it? I didn't give you permission to use my Christian name. We've more in common than I like to admit. The difference is that I stop taking my misfortunes personally. Everybody suffers, Baroness, but only cowards take it out on other people. Well, aren't you a righteous little bitch? Maybe it will get you into heaven. I suppose you'll find out soon enough. Get Armstrong up here. I want someone competent guarding this door. That's not a very nice thing to say. Is that so? Well, after you fetch him, how would you like to take yourself outside and have yourself shot? That'll give you something to complain about. Looks like you got yourself in a heap of trouble this time, eh, lass? How about a fight? What are you yapping about? A fight. You and me. Mano a mano. You're challenging me to a fight? If I win, you let me go. And if I win? I'm already at your mercy. Are you a sportsman or a bully? As entertaining as it sounds, I'm not about to stake my reputation as a master criminal on a dare from a wee little girl. Coward. Are you trying to provoke me? Yes, we are. <laughs> and then, yeah, the Baroness revealed as Harm's leader. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I understand her frustration, but they're also frustrated that there are people who, like, her fault was as a fault. They shouldn't have blamed the entire family for it. Yeah. And even then, she could have just had ev everyone involved assassinated and left it at that. Instead, she's gone mad bomber against the entirety of the, well, at least Great Britain and likely the world afterwards. Yeah, for she doesn't seem like uh, she'd be happy with uh, a small douche. She, yeah, she wants blood and war. Yeah. And yeah, finally that dart explains. And yeah, <laughs> yeah we cut it freaking close with that one, huh? Yeah, I would forgot about that one, and I would have just a stun dot or something. Yeah, for now though, we have to provoke. Uh, we have to provoke. Uh, <clears throat> 
We have to provoke Armstrong. I almost said provoke uh, Wagner <laughs> into a fist fight, but uh, she lost her fight. <laughs> oh dear. Can we actually save during this? No, we can't. But we should be able to skip all of uh, the, that cutscene if we fail this. But uh, yeah, we have to provoke him into fighting us. You're just afraid I'd clobber you. Ha! I'd be more afraid of an angry chipmunk. Uh, okay, come on. That I believe this is the right one, but uh, yeah, bad word. I can't I, I, even read this last one, so I probably should not ask. I always figured you for a sissy. I dare you to say that again. Wait. Okay, which one did you refer to? The last word there, which we will not respond. Uh, uh, repeat. But Wait, what? Is when did that become an extremely bad word? Have I missed? Have I missed something? Yeah, I I think it has been used as a slur for gay men and such. Oh, I did. I, I, I thought it was only a term for some a coward. Did not know it was a term for that. I'm I'm not entirely sure on it, but I I presume that it is. Seeing how, uh, yeah. People like to insult the dropping the matter. I hear you had a toy right. love affair with Inga Wagner. Ha! In her fantasies, maybe. Okay, that was probably not the right one. <laughs> I'd clobber you, but I hate being cruel to animals. Better guess a kiss is out of the question, eh? Yeah, he he actually has some good lines <laughs> for <laughs> Interest counters. Oh, that's right. I forgot you don't like girls. Say that again and I'll wash your mouth out with soap. Have you always been a coward, or is it a recent development? Don't provoke me, Missy. That's it! You pushed me too far, girlie! And yeah, now we've <laughs> kick Armstrong's ass. Uh, really? You're going to be using explosives during this? The objective is literally kick his arse. Also, who the hell is spectating on this? So, do you intend to keep your word and let me go, or do I need to pummel you some more? I may be a villain, but I'm not a liar. A promise is a promise. What about you? Time to look for a new job, I suppose. I'm definitely not sticking around here to discuss your escape with the Baroness. Maybe you should consider a legitimate career next time. My skill set is a bit too, uh, specialized for legitimate work. Don't you worry about me. I'll make do. I owe you. That you do. And don't forget it, either. Can I ask one more favor of you? You can ask. The list of names. Where does the Baroness keep it? Sorry, I can't help you. Do you have any idea how many innocent people will die if the Baroness isn't stopped? What do I care? Don't give me that. Imagine some crazy woman with a chip on her shoulder blew up your mum. How would that make you feel? My mum's already dead. Answer my question, you big ox, or I'll pummel you so bad you'll be picking your own teeth out of your arse. Okay, fine, I'd be sad. Is that what you want to hear? I might even cry like a ninny. Are you happy now? Just think about all the people that'll lose their mums and their sons and their wives, all because some power-mad baroness had a bad childhood. You want that on your conscience? All right, enough, fine. As far as I know, she keeps the bloody thing in a safe in her underground lair. There's an elevator behind a wood pile downstairs. You're a resourceful lass, you'll figure it out. Yay. Yeah, Armstrong might be an ass, but at least he's a somewhat honest ass. <laughs> yeah, and he's not completely unmoral. He has some honor. Okay. 
But we still don't have any weapons. So, let's see. To see Claw, I'm writing this with a quill and a piece of torn parchment for my Spanish uh, captors. I will then hide it in the wall. What? That, that feels like a reference to something. Captain Claw? Yeah. Wait, could that be a reference to uh, uh, an old game called Claw, where you well, control a Captain Claw? Hmm. Maybe? I've always been curious about this that game, but I've never played it. In part because I hear it is damned hard for a 2D platformer. Oh dear. And is there something? I heard there's many like the way we talked about earlier. In order to be a bit more offensive on this, but I realize I never use them when I speak English. Damn it. If I want to call someone coward, I say coward or fool. But I never use these slangs. Okay, got a lucky shot on him. There we go. Grab all of that. An extra silencer in case we didn't have it. There we go. Yeah, I, I'm going more on a presumption on that word because it it uh, yeah, it could very easily be used as a slur. Yeah, and knowing about it, I have a more, more reason to not want to use it. But I never liked the word to begin with. Let's see. Tiberius Dumas from Hans' brother er, as his builders. Uh, per our meeting, enclosed, find a proposal for the new uh, 8,000 square foot Dumas ski lodge in the Italian Alps. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Madam was uh, starting to franchise, I guess. Okay, we need to get in there, I think. It is the most fancy looking place. Okay. Seems like we need to find a remote access. <laughs> really? I'm pretty sure that's... I'm pretty sure I was dead on there. Yeah, this place really needs repairs, though I guess it might be cheaper to just build an entire new place. Let's see. Give me that. Oh, come on. You got... Oh, he has phosphorus rounds. It... Damn it, that's... That's a welder one. Yeah, fo the special damages go straight through your armor. As a DPS. And that's only two rounds left. Okay. Yeah, that, that was... We, we really caught, caught in a bad spot there. Yeah... Holy. Okay. Let's see. Do we have any other ammo? No. And these all use the same type. So we have 40 rounds to our name. Let's see. Secret elevator. Well, that isn't obvious at all. Let's see. Do we just push it? Or is there a button somewhere? Hmm. Oh. Look, painting around here that are not well kept. Yeah. I, I imagine the uh, the alpine air would not be good for paintings to start with. Oh, that's very obvious. <laughs> there we go. And... No, 
that also means that she will be able to get the drop on her. But for now, we have a, a time limit. Since, yeah. well, Kate was injected. So we need to go find that antidote fast. I kind of wonder how she is the lead of harm for... It's we it, 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 seen the notes about their work ethic and all that. Uh, did he just? No, that that's Kate. Because remember, part of the uh, part of the process is the build up of gas. Oh, be glad it's not coming out the other way. Actually, compared, consider what that gas might do, it might come up, what's supposed to come out that way, comes out through a mouth instead. Which is quite nasty, for I have experienced that. Uh, uh, I'm not experienced having explosive chemicals in me. Okay, that Trust was me, a clever I trap. A, I bet I had a sickness once that affected my stomach, so when I burped, it smelled like a forest. Bad Wait, when does she all be the way. up now? Oh, dear. Probably. Uh, let's see. Autosave. Skip that. Okay. Oh, we got a yeah. timer. Yeah. It's still pretty okay. generous, but still. Yeah. I, I always get nervous over timers for sometimes it's way too much time i wonder why even have this timer if it's gonna be this easy and other times makes you wonder whose idea was to give this amount of time where you barely can make it yeah the most infinite example of that would be in uh, one of the teenage mutant ninja turtles games with the electric seaweed that is extremely hard from I believe that's been named the, the most difficult water level ever. I never heard of it. Well, you, you could look it up. Horrible. It's Ninja Turtles. Uh, Ninja Turtles uh, water level. Quick save here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a pretty clever trap here. If it weren't for that. Uh, oh, we are... Really? Really? Wait, what? There was still enough poison in the air. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can speedrun this. Okay, immediately switch to that. Close that, close that, close that. Seriously, you can't close the door behind you. Okay, yeah, we'll have to... We'll have to use the Kalashnikov. Come on, come on, come on. Shut that off. Okay, there we go. I'm putting down a save. Not a quick save. There we go. Four bullets left in this one. Ten of this. Oh, there we go. 53. That should do a lot better. Why well, is this not me burping all the time? <laughs> For once. Oh. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just taking out every motherfucker involved with this. <laughs> I, I'm still confused how she became. The, like, I, I could see her being the sponsor, but 
The leader? That's not the way, okay. She seemed rather... How to say... Too short-tempered. God. Well, she could be a leader. I think there's antidote in there. Yeah. And also, she's also very hypocritical. Uh, in which way specifically do you mean? Uh, wait, was this on the other side as well? Does she hate blue blood or the nobles? Does she behave uh, way more arrogant than most nobles? Yeah. Okay, what is... Oh, there's the... Okay, there's the antidote. Okay, we have hopefully plenty of time for that. Now that's going to be... Yeah, that's going to be delivered to the other side. Come on. We need that blue Gatorade. There we go. You're lucky. I'm leaving you for now. There we go. Okay. It's good. Yep. Timer is gone. Either of you pull a gun, you're... The moment I say that, huh? The absolute moment I say gun. Uh, yep. Kate's quote-unquote signature weapon again, which she's hardly been given in any level. Any body armor around here? The game has been... Oh, there we go. At times it has been surprisingly uh, sparse with the body armor. And at other times, we'll hand it out plenty more than we need it. Yeah, probably they expect you to have harder times on some levels than others. The girl is gone. I should have had her shot. Well, no matter. She'll be dead soon enough. Wrong. She got the antidote. She's resourceful, all right. I'll find her. There isn't much time. Less than an hour. More than enough. Just be sure not to leave without me. I wouldn't dream of it. What about Armstrong? Vanished. Kill him, too, while you're at it. Uh, Volkov. Okay, these... You two get to live. Yeah, time for some... Time for some revenge for Bruno. Yep. I see you up there. Really? You you took a revolver around to the face, dude. That damn it's phosphor rounds. Yeah, we, we really need to be careful with those special uh, damage types. Especially with how little health we have left. Also, switching back to distance has just a bigger magazine. Yeah, we, we almost need those rounds ourselves. Yeah, come on. Nope, I, yeah, I had a feeling one of you was still around. Okay. As long oh, come on. Did you get in? Did you get... Oh, damn it. Did, did you get hit with the dart now? I think I'm just a slow response from what I ate earlier. Also, just a note, but I'm actually interested in getting my hands on one of these old-style lunch boxes at some point. Really? Yeah, it, it would. It just seems funny to me to have one of those. 
Yeah, dude, here's, a, here's a thing. I, I have seen those at home, boxes like those, though. If you act like that they have your nail against it, just touching it, you're gonna probably hate it. Oh? Yeah, it has a bit of a ting, unpleasant tingling reaction if your nails just accidentally scratch it. Okay. Let's see. Tom, that damn transport slipped the tracks uh, for the third time this month. Blade cheap non-union labor. Can you lend one of your boys over to take a look? Jim. Okay. Not sure how useful that info would be. Is this another trap? That, that previous trap, if they just shot the bloody ceiling shot, that would have been a perfect trap to deal with any intruder. Yeah. I guess I do realize that I made it a bit too perfect. No, uh, maintenance just made. left it open. Uh, that too. No. I, just, no. I, I just kind of think it's the developers uh, realize that they made it a little bit too hard otherwise. Yeah. Um... Wait. Okay, no. Attention, you are now in harm's way. Have a nice death. They stole your joke. But... Oh no, Ilian. You remember about animals you asked in last episodes? Oh, yeah, sharks now. <laughs> Without lasers? Yep. Wait, was this released before the Austin Power movie with uh, laser sharks? Don't really know, but uh, yeah, I I'll admit fully, I remembered that joke. The, the first time that I ran across that, it just utterly broke me laughing. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's kind of funny. This, the fucking smiley face. I feel like they stole your. Wait, did you? S I stole their joke. They were Kate stole... made it first. You stole their joke in an early episode. Oh dear. Really? Are you that? Okay. <laughs> Soda isn't that important to him. So thank you for the. Luger XP again. Not that we'll use it. Actually, hold on. I've missed you terribly. Every moment I'm away from you is pure torture. How I've longed to take you in my arms and whisper words of love into your ear. Uh, now, 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 where's that damn song? Let me just grab that. Grab this. Two free lift tickets to the Snowy Mountain Ski Resort and Casino. And, uh, leave. Oh, hello. Same elevator as the space station. I think being smart is you talk with the lizard instead. Actually, a small elevator like that, if you just if you would just put a shotgun in the ceiling, yeah, you <laughs> you don't need a you know, bouncer then. You can just otherwise uh, replace that with a um, you know, I don't know flamethrower. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, dead end. I, I hate this floor. <laughs> hmm. There's gotta be a secret button somewhere here. 
Yeah, they should they should sound more like tiles, not metal. Hmm. Am I just there we go. Okay, I was moment thinking, did they get the maps at the same fucking place? But no, this is <laughs> their own work. Nothing says world domination like Dumas brand products. Wait, is that... Is the... Is the map makers that the Unity uses a subsidiary of Dumas or something? Because they, I think they said the exact same... Uh, <laughs> the exact same line, except for, well, world domination was not there. Possibly. Okay. I think I think we might have just realized a joke that someone put you know, that they put in and nobody ever freaking realized. Well, very well, he did one. Okay. Did they have to decorate the floor for this? Really? Hello. Okay, they looked like they were going to have a chat, but the... oh well. Also been a while since we saved. Wait, is that? I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be her. Not Archer? But... No. Alright, then what is that? Really? Uh, what does it say? This way to the... secret underground helicopter landing pad. Oh. Yeah, every time oh. I try to look at it, it shows to get pixelated. And that's probably another developer. Oop. Big red button. Ah, safe. And... Let's, there we go, one code breaker. If we'd missed that, we'd have had to run all the way back, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There we go. That's unexpected. You meddlesome imp. Guards, kill her. You mean the one's dead behind you? Oh, she's quick. Real bloody quick. Uh... Okay, we have no objectives at the moment. Alright. But what was unexpected then? Okay, that's super spy. That's I, that's probably the highest rank that we can get. Congrats! Oh, one civilian casualty. So that, that must have been this, one of the scientists I shot in the back of the head. Now that oh you dear. Have list, you must get off this mountain alive. You should expect heavy opposition. It's what you don't expect that you should be afraid of. There's also the matter of the name you glimpsed at the top of the list. Okay. Let's see. Shepard, Gordon, grenade launcher, and the sniper rifle. Uh, actually, let's take a look here. Standard issue for U.S. military 40 millimeter grenade launcher. Rugged and reliable. We never got to use this thing. Hmm. We never tried it. Let's see. A spear gun popular with scuba divers. A bit of a lame description. Let's see. Oh, hell. Oh, super atomic. We can actually bring this bloody thing. Okay, Early. yeah. Uh, screw the SMG, we're probably going to find one anyways. It, give me that laser weapon. <laughs> Dear. Uh, let's see, sunglasses, code breaker, coin, that's... Hmm. Maybe ever need, need at all to use the damn dog thing? But don't think we... Uh, we haven't needed it, but we could have used it at a place or two, but mostly in the earlier game. We haven't actually seen dogs 
since we got the thing, I think. Yeah, but Ultra Bizarre Dog was during its test. Is this one of those things they accidentally left in from a cut content? Or they just forgot to add dogs to later levels. Or maybe protests or people complaining or something. Night yeah, vision or... scope. Could also be they removed this from the ski due to the dogs made the game way too hard. Could be. Um, let's see. Let's go with the bandages. And start. Oh. <laughs> really? What? What did he say? All coffee breaks are postponed until the threat is over. Uh. Oh. Now they arrive? Yep. I didn't know uh, Santa Claus wore orange. What is there? Anyone there? Uh... There we go. Three guns. Now then, let's try and be stealthy. <laughs> They will remake this game. I hope they make a shameless, depending on how many doors you knocked. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's do a quick save. And it's another SMG cotton. There we go. What is... What are you chuckling about? Damn it, fast for rounds. They're, they're useful for us, but they are very nasty to be on the receiving end of. Yeah. Oh. And that's one of the elite guards. Yeah, she, do she doesn't give any bit of introduction bit or anything. Oh! Okay, so they, they did serve the bad guys. There we go. Yeah, they, they are just tougher mooks. Okay, and I'm pretty uh, sure we'll they... run into each of them. Oh dear. And I was wondering if they were part of the agency or the enemy. Though... Nope, now it's confirmed. Yeah, though at the same time, if they were part of the agency, why are they why are they still in the rooms being bored when they clearly were needed? Yeah, uh, they're they're more bodyguards for Dumas. And well, since she was very good at hiding uh, her involvement, they, they didn't get to work much. Hmm. Okay, which of these doors do we need to get through? Hmm. See this way. Okay, I think that's literally every door except for maybe that one on the balcony. Have you had any door you knocked that they gave you something? Uh, nope. I wonder if that was a cut feature. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if at one point they wanted to put in humorous dialogue or anything uh, like that. Okay, seriously, yeah. where is the exit? Well, you did find one on the train. Yeah. So, they were, they don't recall in the, in the tutorial, they said if you knock the doors, you could receive items from I fellow uh, agents. Yeah, that, that was a one case thing, yeah. because it was an active objective. Okay, seriously. Wait, she had a grenade pulled out. Is she supposed to commit suicide with that or something? 
Let's see, this is where we came from. Uh, is something glitched here or something? We need to do something? Oh, hello. Oh, now we need to interact with the crooked paintings. Okay. Oh, hello. I was complaining about this earlier. Was it we have 20 minutes left. Should we go overtime just to be able to finish the game? Ooh. Damn it. Oh, uh, I thought I'd kill them. Now I kill them. Uh, yeah, we could go a bit overtime. I don't. I think we know, might not even need 20 minutes unless a certain someone is going to give us a lot of trouble. Oop. Okay, just enough rounds to deal with them. Uh, let's see. What is the switch here? Besides, this is very, a really... No secret switch, you just pull it open. What's this? Oh, that opens up the big ass. <laughs> Phosphor again. And we really need to be careful with all of these damage types. Holy. There. Do we need to go? Thank you. Oh, that's Unity. Okay, for a moment I thought that was a new enemy type. Uh, can we? Quick save. I get the feeling that if that was if. If that was supposed to be forced damage, that is really bad design. But we've already spoken of that once before, so let's not. Good to see you. Head for the helicopter in the courtyard. We'll cover you. All right, but make sure you're off this mountain in the next 15 minutes. Why? There's going to be a very large explosion. Uh... It might have helped if you've returned fire there, dude. And at least he doesn't have to worry about the explosion. Holy. Hmm. So I've got to wonder then who... It's a bad time. Oops, someone has a grenade launcher. Someone no longer has a grenade launcher. Open up. For a moment I thought I got hit there, but no, it's the that thing. Okay. Thank you. Uh you Oh, well. yep. uh, I'll just blame that one on the elite guards. Oh, that's another one. Or the last one, actually. Uh, also, something I, I should have answered to earlier, but uh, kind of forgot. It's not that Kate isn't wearing pants. Well, she, she, well, she... She's not wearing full pants, but she is at least wearing something underneath her clothes. But I expected that much, just... You'd expect her to have something more covering her legs in snow. There we go. So, the elite god wears less. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a good reason why they stay in that room of theirs. Is this the way out? Yes, it is. Out of curiosity, who's got Agent Archer? Oh, you had a... I don't have her either. Damn it all to hell. Should we head back? Well, the objective of our mission was to rescue her. Good point. 
<laughs> the masses. I don't know who's worse, unity or harm. What? <sighs> At least it bothered to, to, to try and compact for you. Okay, I remember this bit. So let's take. Actually, let's start with this thing. There we go. Quick All save. Right. Uh, remember how we've been. Uh... Okay, let's go. Is this thing really going to go this slow? Uh, remember how we dealt with a helicopter before? What about helicopter? But did you just turn off your mic? No. Uh, all right, for. Is only your voice cut off at a moment? And I, I just kept quiet, but uh, yeah, we have dealt with a. <clears throat> yeah, fight of heli enemy helicopters. Uh, we have dealt oh. with one oh. before. Uh, whilst we were going at. Where exactly it was? Oh. There. Does this? Yes, it is instant hit. Oh. Yeah, let's deal with that quickly. Hmm. Yep, that was too close. Come on. Let's try not to fall out. At the very least, I. Right. Yeah, we'll have to deal with it retreating then, if it is retreating. Yeah, we dealt with an, a helicopter before, but I forget specifically where. Oop. Uh, episode. Also on the mountains. There. Or, Luckily, or now we have really high explosives to deal with them with. Oh. Okay, so they are going to use those. If we don't damage them enough. Also, yeah, the walking is a bit odd due to the platform we being on moving as well. And that's a miss. And they're taking off. Okay. Yeah, this, this is just a thing of old shooters with moving platforms and movement. Oop. Okay, I thought this thing was actually a hit scan. It's, but no, it's just a very, very fast-moving projectile. There you are. They're taking off after that. The other one took quite a few hits. Nope. It's, it's... Okay, that's that. Hmm. Uh oh. It's going to be a bit harder to hit with this thing. And let's put down a save. Hmm. Ooh, where is it? There is it. Yeah, that is going to be hard to hit with. Especially since we can't really move well. We really have to screw it. 41 bullets. It'll have to do. Yeah, it's not really okay. a with helicopter after all. Yeah, it looks like they just take... It's more of a survival thing than actually taking them out. Okay. We got a lucky shot in there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Really? It's going down from being shot but by this thing, but not... But not by getting hit with multiple explosive rounds. The heck? Hmm. 
Oh, there we go again. Also, this this kind of shows that the game isn't actually working with hit scan weapons. It's just they travel really, really fast, so that it sort of looks to be. That's gonna make sense a bit more realistic, ain't it? Yeah. Do I really have to just kill you? Hmm. We are running low on ammo. Yeah. Also, getting getting out of here. Okay, I was pretty sure that thing was supposed to fall. Apparently not. Yeah, she. <laughs> Oop. Uh, ah. You have proved to be an interesting adversary, Miss Archer. I've never had the chance to compete with a woman in a professional capacity. The experience has been. An amusing one. Good. Then you can go to your grave happy. Perhaps. But I deem your mortality a far more immediate concern. Hand over the list, and I will kill you swiftly. How generous of you. I am not a man to trifle with. I have been perfecting methods of torture since before you were born. It would grieve me to have to demonstrate my skills on... Such a lovely creature as yourself. Are you threatening me or attempting to seduce me? I try never to get involved with women who want to kill me. Wise policy. Live and learn. Well, you'll not get this list in any case. That is where you are mistaken. They bickered so hard that the eyes gave out. And yeah, we lost all of our weapons again. Look, I, I can't understand we dropping them here, but all of them? Come on. But it, yeah, she put. You know, she injected her own husband. Uh, come the. F there we go. To blow up as well. Then again, he wasn't of much use to her, anyways. Okay. At the very least, we get a freaking lot of ammo with this thing. And uh, yeah, finally, her signature weapon gets put to use. In something important. You did decent damage. Yeah. Oh, oh, so much ammo. They were very polite in ammo for you in this fight. Yeah, since it's basically the only thing we have. Yeah, and it's a boss fight as well. Like, what the heck is you supposed to do if you run out of ammo on a boss fight? You're basically dead. Yeah. And. Well, we've seen that Kate's uh, fighting moves aren't too uh, impressive, unless uh, their use on Magnus is ours. <laughs> still, still, just kick Magnus is ours. That was the actual objective, not defeat him, not uh, kill him or anything, just kick his ass. <laughs> Okay, we've pretty much got this in the bag. We've got enough ammo uh, and enough armor to survive. Is he, is he the easiest boss so far? Uh, I guess, yeah, he, you could say he is easy once you've got your, actual, your weapon. Oh, man, he's running off. Or...
Well, that's him done. And um, yeah, I think we can still finish the game. You've escaped with the list. The Baroness has escaped, but it's only a matter of time before she's brought to justice. Volkov and Baron Dumas are dead. Meanwhile, Armstrong has vanished, but it seems unlikely that you have anything to fear from him. All that is left is to report the good news to command. Okay, come on, fight your way back up the upper landing. Report to Unity Headquarters. Let's see. We, we only get the revolver. Can we select anything else? No, but we can at least select that. So, well, here we go then. Mr. Jones, please. Who may I say is calling? Kate Archer. One moment. Archer, you're alive? I suppose I am. There was a report that you'd been killed in an explosion. Oh, that. No, I survived. Did you get the list? I expect a telegram within the hour. This is excellent news. Are you all right? I'm fine. Maybe a wee bit tired. Nothing a nap and a sip of scotch won't clear up. Well, let me know the moment you arrive. Okay. See you soon. She's got the list. Unbelievable. Miss Kavanaugh, please alert cryptography that Agent Archer will be sending an encoded message within the hour. This is top priority. Don't congratulate yourself yet, Ms. Archer. <laughs> You've won nothing. Yes, well, you've lost everything again. Not true, Agent Archer. I still have the satisfaction of knowing that you have failed. But I haven't. We have Dr. Schenker, we have the antidote, and most importantly, we have the names of your intended victims. You still have to deliver the list. Which I shall just as I shall deliver you to prison where you can accustom yourself to a slightly less opulent lifestyle. Ah, what a sweet fantasy. But it's not meant to be, I'm afraid. Know this, little girl. Harm does not die with me. I think you'll survive your wounds. It's not my wounds you should be worried about. Uh. Pardon me. I've got to get everybody off the streets. Yep. Suicide bombing. Inside. Get moving. Get off the yep. streets. We have to find all of the civilians. Uh, really? One of them got shot what? by the, the thug. Oh. I think yes, not many people like this one. I think most people might not get to this point, but yeah, we have to go find all the civilians who are outside in less than a minute and a half. Get inside, no. get and is even one of yeah, if even one of them dies, we fail. So okay. Okay, where is... there is... damn it. Really, the freaking Christmas lights are that bulletproof? Inside, hurry! Get off the streets! Holy... Okay. Where... where are they hiding? Up there. Get inside, now! Okay. Get inside! See, prevent any civilian casualties. Uh, let's see, that's four that we found. How many more are there? I don't actually know. There. Uh, there. Hurry! Get get inside. There is, oh, get you the as well. Wait, we've been here before. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure oh. of that as well. It looks it's familiar. Oop. Inside, you no. get running. Yeah, this is where we tailed her. Okay. Is that everyone? Is that all of them? Nope. Nice reuse of a level. Get inside, clear the streets. Yeah, I don't mind that people you reuse the levels as long as it makes sense story-wise and all that. 
And I think she... Yeah, I think we missed one. Yep, here. And if we don't get them all... Yeah. Okay. And it looks like they somewhat go spawn random. Actually, no, these are in the same place. That's the timer going off, but this is the very last level. So we're keeping going. Yeah, we've been doing overtime on, on this one. It won't be and much overtime anyways. Yeah. Get running you. We have to be really careful with overtime. But after those streams, we can go off a, a bit overtime on. Not that. Open up. Hurry, get, get inside. Okay, so they do the spawn in the same place every time. Okay, we just have to deal with the jackasses around here. What's this? Get inside now. And then there is one more here. Almost shot the civilian. Okay, he's just running over there. I hope when we got them all... But, oh, they they were hiding here. You are hiding already? A, really? Did, does that mean we got them all, or did we miss one? We'll, well, we'll find out in a few seconds. Really, dude, you're blocking me. Did we? We missed one. Uh, okay. Yeah, I... I say give at least two, three minutes if you're gonna have shooting mobs. And have to find every civilian. Get off the streets. You get going. Let's see, where could we have missed one? Over this way, perhaps? No, there's the Baroness. Hmm. Oh, we have more than one minute, but still. Hell, it should be at least two, three minutes for this one. Hey. You and you. You. Is there someone on a balcony or something somewhere? Oh, you! Get moving! Okay, three here. Get, get inside. Get off the streets. But there's one more over there. It's all wrong. Get inside now. Okay, that's going to lure the other one over. And let get inside. There we go. I think you might want to shelter behind something more sturdy than a chair. Poor pathetic creature. Ah, Miss Archer. I trust you're recuperating suitably? Quite so, Mr. Jones. Thank you for the champagne. It's a tradition I began back in the war to reward my boys for a mission well done. It pays to have friends in the supply department. So, does that mean I'm one of the boys? <laughs> I suppose it does. Uh, figuratively speaking, of course. Of course. Miss Archer, I realize I have been somewhat abrasive during this ordeal. You've been a belligerent oaf. I hope you can understand that I take our collective purpose very seriously. Although I was highly skeptical of a woman's ability to handle this mission, I am overjoyed to have been proved wrong. You have gone above and beyond the call of duty in this matter for which we are all indebted to you. I wish we could offer you a proper vacation, but until unity is full strength again, I'm afraid we can't afford to let you rest. Thank you, sir, but I've waited a long time for a chance like this. I wouldn't dream of going on vacation now. That's the spirit. 
Well, I'm going to go home and see if my wife remembers me. And see you both tomorrow. I'd best be going too. I'm bathed in three days. I imagine I'm a bit ripe. Is this how it ends then? How what ends? Saving the world. That's what we did, right? Yes, that is what we did. Is it always like this? Weary farewells and shuffling off home for a hot bath and a good night's sleep? A good night's sleep if you're lucky. Yes, Agent Archer. It is always like this. Saving the world is our job, you see. If we do it properly, nobody even knows the world is in jeopardy to begin with. Not a lot of fanfare, I suppose. Just the satisfaction of a job well done. An important job. I like to think so. Good night, Agent Archer. Good night, Mr. Smith. Good night. Yeah, anticlimactic, yeah, but it's supposed to be. You were right. Last night I slept peacefully for the first time since my father died. How touching. Tom? You owe me more than you can imagine, Ms. Archer. I thought you... You have no idea what I put myself through, and I'm not going to get a dime for it thanks to you. You're the traitor. Hey, I'm not proud of what I did, but I was going to get a handsome paycheck as compensation. A very handsome paycheck. Unfortunately, you had to go and blow up my benefactor. Money? You betrayed the entire free world for money? Ah, uh, spare me the self-righteousness. Everybody has a price, even you. You don't know anything about me. Maybe not, but I've been in this business long enough to see what people are capable of. Anybody can talk about honor and patriotism, but those are just pretty words. When the money's on the table, the right amount of money, you'd be surprised how quickly you can change your tune. Do you honestly believe that? Of course I do. You know what a spy is? It's just some ordinary Joe who's willing to risk his life to sell out his country for a few measly bucks. We rely on these people. That's where most of our information comes from. The difference between them and us, other than our training as operatives, of course, is a price tag. Mine just happened to be about a hundred times as much money. And now I get nothing thanks to you. You're forgetting something, Tom. Those spies we recruit aren't patriots, they're cowards. We seek out selfish, hateful little people who place themselves above everyone else. We choose them because they're weak and greedy and arrogant, like you. Touché. Don't you understand what you did? People died because of you. Bruno died because of you. Hey, Volkov killed him, not me. All I did was supply some information. I'm not responsible for how that information was used. We'll see what the court thinks about that. I didn't come here to surrender. Pity for you. And there we go, the actual bo final boss. Dumb bloody Goodman. And he has poison rounds. Wait, how do... But uh, did, did you have said that his, sp his spin of the game was horrible, but still? <laughs> really? We keep finding bloody pieces, and now we find a complete CT-180. And yeah, he's a lot more mobile than Volkov, even though he still does the stupid combat roll like the normal goons. Did you, did you blow yourself up, you dumbass? Do we have any... No, we don't have... Ooh, that... We were lucky with that one missing. Come on, one more burst. Did he blow himself up there? Or what? Are you going to shoot me in cold blood? If I have to. That's mighty tough talk for a little girl. Mr. Smith, what are you doing here? Tending to some unfinished business. Mr. Jones? Are you all right, Miss Archer? 
I. What's going on? There's your traitor. You mean Smithy? How long have you known? I've suspected you for some time. You've only just now confirmed my suspicions. All this time you thought he might be a traitor? Indeed, but I had to be sure. You might have warned Bruno. He did. Bruno? Look out! Isn't Bruno in between them? Good shooting, Archer. But what about Tom? Tom Goodman died in Amsterdam. What? But I thought... The man you knew as Tom Goodman was an imposter. His real name was Melvin Blitzney. He's a former vacuum cleaner salesman from Akron, Ohio. I don't understand. It's quite simple. Seven years ago, Mr. Jones took Smithy off the active list due to his increasingly inadequate performance in the field. Mandatory retirement came as a great blow. Smithy, like many operatives, thought of himself as a man of action. He viewed his reassignment into the role of an administrator as an insult to his virility. He kept his dissatisfaction to himself, secretly plotting to discredit Jones and, in the process, line his own pockets. To this end, he recruited Melvin Blitzney, who underwent plastic surgery, extensive training, and months of voice lessons in order to become Tom Goodman for whom Smithy, meanwhile, laid a deadly trap in Amsterdam. How did Smithy hook up with a vacuum cleaner salesman from Ohio? Apparently, they met in a bar in Florida on one of Smithy's last assignments. Anyhow, with Goodman out of the way and no one any the wiser, Smithy launched the next phase of his scheme, which was to nurture a relationship with an up-and-coming terrorist organization. He chose harm. His plan was to create an international incident of staggering proportions and simultaneously cripple unity so that we would have no choice but to capitulate. Such an unmitigated failure would force Mr. Jones to step down, giving Smithy control of unity and also a handsome payoff in a secret bank account in Zurich. But what about Morocco? It was a trap meant to snare us both. Mr. Jones and I agreed that it would serve as a perfect opportunity for me to disappear for a while. You might have warned me, you know. We couldn't risk tipping our hand. You mean you didn't think I could keep a secret? Keeping a secret wasn't enough. Smithy had to believe I was dead, which meant that you had to believe it as well. I'm truly sorry, Kate. Oh, you will be. But there are still some things I don't understand. Smithy was extremely forthcoming with information for someone who wanted us to fail. Every mission he sent you on was a trap. Eventually, it occurred to him that you were far more competent than he had anticipated, but it was already too late by then. You'd outwitted him. Besides, if he'd attempted to conceal information, he would have drawn suspicion to himself, which he couldn't afford. But why did Tom, or Melvin, whatever his name is, blow up the cargo freighter? To get rid of you, of course. But Inga Wagner and Magnus Armstrong were aboard the ship. They were expendable. If you knew all this, why didn't you just arrest Smithy and be done with it? because we didn't know all this until very recently. Your investigations revealed much of the information we needed, but the final piece of the puzzle fell into place yesterday afternoon when I found this in Smithy's flat. The puppet? Indeed. Unbelievable. I'm sorry I had to deceive you, Kate. Sorry is not good enough. Do you have any idea how devastated I was? I should leave you two alone. I'm sure you've plenty of catching up to do. You certainly looked sad. What do you mean? Well, I was watching when you came to pay your respects. You were spying on me? Not intentionally. I ought to kill you myself. Who's buried here anyway? No one. It's an empty casket. An empty casket? Calm down. Don't run away from me. Come back and take what's coming to you. Kate, please. You're overreacting. I'll show you overreacting, you bastard. <laughs> Uh, yay! I'm, I'm surprised you didn't sound angrier.
Uh, well, it was uh, the 2000s, so voice acting was still coming into its, uh, <laughs> into its uh, maturity at the time. But uh, yeah, like any good spy flick, the big reveals come right at the end. Yes, I knew that guy was a traitor. Just didn't know Goodman was one as well. Well, he's not Goodman, technically, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, whilst the credits are rolling, let's look up some more of the voice actors, because we haven't done that so far. And uh, yeah, during the cutscenes, I've been doing that on already a bit. And uh, do you want to know who else Baroness Dumas has voiced? Sure. Uh, she's voiced, for, uh, first off, by Barbara Dirickson as in D-I-R-I-C-K-S-O-N. And uh, she's the modern voice of the fairy godmother from Disney. The modern? The, the, the fairy godmother from... Uh, uh, which, one? which movie is that again? Uh, for... Is, is it for the old one or the newer one? Newer one. Like the, her last role here is Fairy Godmother in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I not heard of that one. Sorry. It's a new uh, Harvest Moon-like game, from what I've heard. But I, yeah, that's a bit of a, that's a bit of a <laughs> very different role, huh? Yeah, I, I know I heard that voice acted before. Just yeah, I expect. So as as I have expected you to say she was the fairy godmother of the original, uh, was it that Cinderella? No, Probably not Cinderella. Cinderella. No, no, Cinderella is the three fairies. Yep. Yeah. Uh, was the one with the, with the pumpkin cart? Oh, that yeah, that would be the the one. Uh, no, is is. Let me. Is that Cin? Oh, I've, Cinderella is the one with the fairy godmother. The one I was thinking of was... Uh, what, yeah, is it both? Hmm. No. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. But, how do you start to mix up the... Uh, no. Anyway, still. There's a few classic princesses. There's Snow White, not there. There is Cinderella with the sleeping and the... Uh, and then there is another, uh, which I'm completely forgetting. I'm pretty sure there is a third one there, but yeah, moving yeah, on. The, uh, yeah, moving other on. voice, other characters uh, she has voiced somewhat recently has been Grandma Panda in the recent Kung Fu Panda stuff. <laughs> so again, oh. pretty different. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, Dmitry Volkov. Nope. Oh, hello. <laughs> ah, yes. Speaking of Volkov... I'm afraid I have bad news. I'm already aware of the situation, Dimitri. No matter. We'll just have to do better next time, won't we? Yeah, the what? drunk is the actual harm director. What? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> The best spy of them all is the one who is the public drunk. So that's why he was on so many levels. We yep. thought it was a gag, but, but probably also a gag, but still. <laughs> Holy. Yep. He was uh, supervising in the disguise. We're sending you to a remote island paradise for a well-deserved vacation. You'll have plenty of peace and quiet without distractions. In fact, we can't contact you even if we want to. The only communication to the outside world is through the weekly boat that brings supplies and vacationers from the mainland. Enjoy yourself, Kate. You've earned it. I don't recognize this. Is this extra content? Yep, enjoy your vacation. I'm worried that it said scene one. This 
This is the life. No harm, no unity, and no objectives except rest and relaxation. Well, it's not going to last, I feel. Yeah, th this is new content. I've never seen this before. Oh, monkey. Uh, monkey with a gun. <laughs> Okay, uh, we've gone 20 minutes over. Shall we continue on a bit longer just to see where the hell this goes? If it is just a bit extra bit or something? Yeah, might as well. I, I doubt this is a big one. If it takes longer than 15 minutes, then, uh, then we'll call it and add another stream to this. Get the hell over here. Really? Does a monkey with a pistol ran past you? Oop. Damn it! Can't open that. Does this dress make me look fat? Um, fat like how? Fat, fat. I've been eating so much here. My dress feels too tight. Well, you you don't look fat from where I'm standing. So you're saying I'm fat from behind? I didn't say that. Not in so many words, but you meant it. Uh, never answer that question because it's not going to go well, whatever way you end, sir. Let's see, please repair the underwater grate in Pond 2 immediately. Well, we know where you need to go. I, I actually, I'm sure. I think I see someone asks that and he did not have that response. Uh, water I, I, quick, I feel like there's a yoke of a stereotype that might not be true. Today's special. <laughs> okay, no, thank time, you. To, time to stop monkeying around. Uh, oh, come on. Harm? What's going on here? Find the back of the resort and get out alive. Well, it it is remote and it it is only contacted once in a week, so it would make a good spot to hide. <laughs> I hope he's coming down to check and not to hit an alarm. Yeah, this might be a bit... I think we got an extra uh, stream coming up then. This, this this is completely new to me. I'll be grabbing that. Also, I guess we don't care about the gun anymore. <laughs> or is this the pistol that the monkey just left it behind? Or... <laughs> Decoder, and yeah, Smithy being, oh, damn it, Smithy being the trader also explains how they kept getting their hands on code breakers and other uh, such materials. Yeah, it would explain a lot. I was going to suggest uh, that he probably gave it to them if he was the traitor. Uh, oh, there oh, we go. shots. Go. Yeah, I, I I really don't know if this was. The voice acting sounds the same as other characters we've run across, so it doesn't feel like fan content. Unless they are very good impressionists. Hey, Murray, break's over. Get back to work. What's the rush? We need to get this shipment to the facility, and you've been sitting around all afternoon. Our paychecks are two weeks late. I'll put some hustle into it when I see some money. Boss said that's just a temporary payroll glitch. Now, come on. I can't do this by myself. Uh, 
big tip, no pay means no work. Because otherwise you're working for free. And if they're not paying, then it's likely that they're going they're at the verge of collapse. Which means that if they collapse, you get no money. Dear. Not that any of these are getting paid now. Let's see. To all harm employees, no one is allowed on the far side of the island. Filming of a new reality TV show will begin this week. Uh, that makes me question, are they filming it or are they actively avoiding the cameras? Please install warning signs near all sudden drops and lava, lava pits. Our insurance provider has warned us that their policy will be cancelled if one more guest is killed. This is an evil genius. Uh, I, uh, this is an evil genius save file, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let, let's let's give it ten more minutes. Really, monkey masks? <laughs> okay. Uh, warning for falling rocks, really? Like that? Like that, yes. Uh. Let's, uh, yeah, try it again. Yeah, and you know what? I, I say we could, uh, after this, investigate to see how long this is if we ain't unable to finish it. And you'll see if it's worth finishing or not. Otherwise, we could, uh, Stream it off screen and uh, just glue it together. Hmm, bit iffy on that. See, see, like this. When it was really awkward to start the stream for one more episode that's just 30 minutes long or less. Yeah. True, but if that happens, we could just move on to the next game and cut them apart. Oop, oop. Oops. And this is why I don't trust Hillian with vehicles. Okay, oh, dodge birds. the boulder. Actually, yeah, I don't... You know what, Hillian? If other games allow you to ride a giant bird, I will also be nervous for that. Like You mean like Ark? Yeah. You're the only one I know that have accidentally dismount several times mid-air and fall into your death. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm guessing we're supposed to go down there, perhaps? Or I hope we're not going... I hope we're not ending up running where we're supposed to be riding. I hope this thing is not... Long, longer since we already gone over time. Wait. Hmm? You said Game of the Year edition of this game, right? Yeah, that, that probably explains the extra content. Yeah, it, it might actually be in a Game of the Year then not just a fan patch That's... but the fan patch is to fix the game of the year edition hmm. now, on that uh, there actually was a bit of uh, i'm not sure if they call it controversy or just uh what's what's the word uh the, the Ubisoft is releasing a Game of the Year version of some uh, thing, uh, of a game that actually never got a Game of the Year awards. So and yeah, people have been okay. deriding them quite a bit. That's the words. Derision. Division the game. Yeah, really? No, derision. Derision to, oh. de to make fun of them for something. Yeah, yeah, I forget. I forget which game specifically it was. Hmm. And uh, yeah, I got the feeling we were supposed to keep the freaking motorcycle. Yeah, the, I think 
I think I heard of it, but I'm sure. Somewhere was it was a game that was not even a year old. Yeah, it is a recent game, and was that movement oh, up so there? It, so it's true. They are going to give a give the year edition of a game that's not even a year old. Likely. Oop, got some ammo. Yeah. So, did this game actually get a game of the year award? I guess so. One monkey mask. Uh, then again, uh, <clears throat> typically how I've seen it done with game of the year awards is uh, it could it can't be from any source. So even if it is a, a tiny little company or something that uh, the developers set or the publisher set up themselves, uh, they can still count it as a game of the year awards, even if it has the credibility of a well a salty cracker. Yeah, then also I guess there's the different uh, subsections are like like the first shooter of the year, the ge spy game of the year. Like you could see this being the spy game of the year, but that would make sense. Yeah, it could be that. Uh, for now, um, four more minutes about, and yeah, actually, I very much doubt we will be able to finish this real quickly. But let's see how far we can keep going. Oh, and yeah, they actually put up warning signs about all of this stuff, like they were demanded to, and definitely should have kept the motorcycle. <laughs> Actually, going to put down a different save now, just in case we end up quick loading. And again, it would be quite a bit of progress back. But that's a blueprint. Uh, just still, I, I'm. I might say I am a bit exhausted, but uh, I'm actually quite amusingly surprised with this. Monkeys may attack stop vehicles on this road. I think you might have to... Might have other problems than monkeys over here. Well, awesome. monkeys attacking you in the lava does sound like a very bad combination. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's probably why. That is, is their temple. Really? Mad at much? Okay. Losing quite a bit of our armor. That's because just as so freaking many of them. So let's hope that there's some armor around here somewhere. Yeah, let's hope so. Also, what the hell are the real <laughs> entire shipment of the things? Also, why are they wearing the bloody things? Yeah, I wonder that as well. Or are they the monkeys that have been attacking the stopped cars? Maybe? Uh, uh, yeah, let's just keep going. I can hear preparations being made downstairs for dinner. So, uh, yeah. Why do they have us wearing these things anyway? Nope. Oh. I'm not sure, but they are kind of nice. Nice? Because they remind you of your mom? Very funny. Back to work, smart guy. And just as I was talking about that dinner call. Oh, oh dear. dear. Is, was that the same bloody monkey? That's the same bloody monkey there running. Okay, yeah, let's just put in a save. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, I guess next time, which is likely going to be Thursday, will be uh, a mixed stream of first No One Lives Forever and then Rayman Le not of Legends, Rayman Origins. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Yeah. So for now, let's quickly go look for someone to raid. Uh, since I am on a quite little time limit now, uh, I'll just pick a name and go for that. So, let's see. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Rithian is on. Top Skelly Tail is doing art. 
Dargat is still doing Tomb Raider. Shrimp OS is doing Elder Scrolls, Oblivion. Uh, Fuzzy Freaks, Red Dead Redemption 2. And Freyan Plague Tale Requiem. And we have some doing Spyro. Ta -ta -ta. Uh, let me mute Fuzzy F and go take a look at Fuzzy Freaks here. Mm, Freyan. Uh, let's actually let's actually go here because uh, the Plague Tale game, where though from what I hear, soon to be uh, games, uh, are pretty interesting from what I've heard. So yeah, copy paste slash raid and yeah, okay. Uh, we'll have to rush a bit through here. So thank you everyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you as always for here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we're taking a day off. We've been doing those streams whenever we could uh, for quite a bit now. So yeah, we <laughs> we yeah, need a bit of a break now that we're back yeah. on a sort of schedule. Yeah, and we cannot do. But uh, yeah, slash uh, start the raid. And uh, yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for monkeys with guns. Ha <laughs> ha.